Welcome to the birthplace of college football, the campus of Rutgers University in Piscataway, New Jersey, where the game will be a little more technical, but no less intense than that showdown with Princeton in 1869. A Big Ten showdown coming, conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Washington Huskies taking on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Scarlet Knights will kick it away to start us off. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Washington Huskies offense takes the field. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and Dave, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. The quick out. Still running at the 40. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. They'll throw it on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Offense in a bunch formation. Looking for room, it's Coleman. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Back to pass, it's Rodgers. And they got him for the sack. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Wants to bring it back. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Scarlet Knights offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And David, we'll see just how effective they can be on the ground running against a backer like this. But they're going to do what they do, and they're going to feature their guy. He's an elite running back. You're a great linebacker. Let's see who wins this battle. There have been entire defenses that haven't been able to slow this running back down. This linebacker, though, he's got the athleticism to do it himself. Offense gets set for second down. The play-action fake. 
Grabbed in the middle. It's Miller. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains in their setup at the 41. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football, create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. But Jet Sweep pass. Runs for the tackle. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. No good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. Washington sends out the punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll feel the punt and look for room. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. From the gun, give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, doing him to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. 
He's looking to throw. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. He's got his man. No, oh, he got loose. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. The Scarlet Knights will line it up on first and ten. They move the tight end all over. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 50-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. Just buried it. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Looking for a gap. It's Monaga. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seventh. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Scarlet Knights are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. Out of the end zone. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. He's got his man. Delivers the contact. 
big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. To the air on first down. Unloads to the right. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Good job on defense, getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and 10 from the 42. Takes a handoff. It's Coleman. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Hunter. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Or are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Fires and picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position, but they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run play action. Getting some heat. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Fires to the right. 
It's complete. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Guys, it is Rutgers on top here at the end of the quarter. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Give to the running back. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of that. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Scarlet Knights will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block, and the returner will be dragged down. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. That incompletion leads to second down and ten. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Fires to the big fella. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. 
Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. And the defense doing work. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. The league's not insurmountable, just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. To the air. It's Rodgers. Quickly to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Washington coming to the line with another first down. Going with the ground game left. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Shoots it to the left. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. You know, these throws to the perimeter of the field can be so tricky for a quarterback. You've got to be pinpoint accurate and have great timing. You didn't see it there from the QB. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his man, it's Jackson. And he's brought down after a nice game. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And the Huskies are flying down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. And just an awesome job by that defender on that play. Great awareness, and he had his eyes on the quarterback, so he saw the ball thrown, and as such, he was able to go and swat it away. Now on second down after the incompletion. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Trying to pick up a first down.
On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. <laughs> Caught on the outside, it's Moore. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Pressure coming. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've methodically worked the ball down the field. 11th play of the drive coming up, but this one third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. They'll have to punt for the fourth time today. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On second down, looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. And the Scarlet Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He hurls one deep down the left side. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now second and 10 from the 40. They're going to throw it again. This time he's got it. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. The defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. The Scarlet Knights are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back has it. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On second down, they'll take to the air. 
zone. Touchdown, Rutgers. Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. To the air, it's Rodgers. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points, so it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the ball is picked off. After making the interception, ran that thing back to the 18-yard line. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Rutgers! Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They'll start this drive with a pass. Setting up the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leads them in second and manageable. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn upfield for a big gainer. That last completion has him set up second and short. Wide out in motion. The receiver on the jet sweep. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. 
I love jet sweeps because it puts so much pressure on defenses with their eye discipline. It's really hard for these linebackers and DBs and defensive ends to locate a really fast receiver cutting across the formation so quickly, getting the handoff. You see that time, he's able to use the speed to go get the first. Here's a quick throw out to the left. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Caught, close to the marker. It's Moore. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. They wanted to get the ball to the tight end, and they've already done it five times, and we're not even to the half. I'm about to say, mission accomplished. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Take advantage of the matchup, right? Zone or man, I like my big fella. I like using the tight end all I can. Great job working him into the offense. He's a playmaker. Find it. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Here comes the offense on second down. On the run, it's Coleman. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Holmes. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They'll throw it on first down. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. And I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Give to the single back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Makes the catch. It's Coleman. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. He makes a grab, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. But you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. Ready to try the point after. Yeah. 
The extra point is good, but they're still down 28-7. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he's brought down after a nice game. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and ten just outside the 30. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. The snap sets up the throw. Finds his big tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Throws to the wideout. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Great job by the DB seeing where the ball's going and breaking up. And I know that sounds stupid. Of course he is. He's supposed to do that. But a lot of times the angles you take are sometimes compromised and leaves you giving up big plays. Nice job going straight to the football and swatting it on the ground. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. He makes a catch. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Looking left, tosses it incomplete. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On second down, he's looking downfield. Makes the grab. It's Miller. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. To fly. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And the Scarlet Knights looking to convert on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. He's not going to get there. Stopped short on fourth down. Less than half minute to play here in the half. Let's see how aggressive they are on first and ten. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. Pocket starts to collapse. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. You know, as this game goes on tonight, guys, this guy has to do a better job making quick decisions. you got to work through your progression. If it's not open, throw it away or run. He took way too much time there. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. 
After that one, not quite so backed up as they're up to the 18-yard line. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great scene there today in Piscataway. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the birthplace of college football. Washington ready to kick off to start this second half. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run it on the counter. Discards a man. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. They'll try the run. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense has had no answer so far. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Well, in that down and distance, the quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. He wants to pass it on second down, using the quick game. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. 
They want to continue this long drive. Ninth play coming. It's third and five. From the gun, wants to pass. The throw to the outside is complete. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. They just keep throwing him the ball this time on the slant. No doubt. And, and you've seen it with the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open. So I'm going to continue to pick at this matchup every chance I get. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. Trying to run, it's Monaga. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. The Scarlet Knights have it with a first and goal. Snap in the shotgun. Into the end zone! Touchdown, State University of New Jersey! And the stomping has commenced. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has had enough of this, right? The quarterback's on a hot streak. The ball's not hitting the ground. And right there, they decide, we are jumping one of these routes. We're going to try to get a pick. Almost came away with one there. Now on second down. The give from the gun. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Used to play fake, now to throw. He unleashes a long one. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Let's see what they've got on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. The Huskies are on the move. Off the play fake on first down. Looking deep down the right side. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. 
bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball landing out of bounds. The incompletion leads to second and ten. Looking for room, it's Coleman. Shakes off the tackler. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught, it's Boston. They'll move the chains, good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually, keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. Release to the back. Quick completion on the out route. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Unloads to the wideout. Got a wide open receiver. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Receivers always have to be so careful around the sideline to not step out accidentally. So give that receiver credit. Nice job on the route to bring the ball in while on a tight run. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. The running back has it. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Using his legs, it's Coleman. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. They're going to run it. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Power ahead. Stumbled to the ground. Man, if I'm quarterback right now, after this long of a drive, down this close, I'm going for a touchdown here, Pop. And I get that, but I've worn this defense out. Man, I'm going to go for the touchdown right here. And if I miss, they got to go the whole length of the field to score a touchdown. So the offense will try to punch it in here on fourth and goal from the one. Trying to power it in. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing into the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. First and 10 from their own 15-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Makes the grab. It's Miller. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. 
This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. That completion leaves us with second and medium. From the gun, the ground game. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first down. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Comes out throwing on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Monaga. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. They'll leave it with him. He breaks a tackle. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. I think he run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. And if this offense can keep that rolling, if they can keep the physical ground game and continue to add these plays up as they go along, long drives, keep the clock with the lead, this coach will be ecstatic. And the Scarlet Knights will snap it on first and 10. From the gun, the give, looking for room. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. They'll give it to the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the upright. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Wide open downfield. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. 
The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. To the air, it's Rodgers. Finds his tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Trying to get to him. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Reels it in on the left side. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. How about that one? Fourth and forever, and he just turned one loose and fired it for the first down. Man, does that sting. Defensively, you get him in the perfect situation. You know they're going to pass the football. You play the ball deep, and you give up a deep pass. That is a back-breaking play. This Washington offense moving quickly down the field. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Listen, you, you gotta be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole, good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. Makes the catch. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now. Because of the pass completion, it's first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Wide receiver shows motion. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Huskies! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the middle. A 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. But you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. The Scarlet Knights line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Looking for a block, it's Boston. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Trying to burn this defensive back. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Yeah, these wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times, we're running to them, too. We're focused on chasing him down and funneling the football in the right direction. Defense Swarm did a good job getting their hand on the football, causing the fumble from the wide receiver. They'll go to the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that was a big-time stop defensively. Being physical, creating a negative play on that last run. Now you're setting up third down. This is the critical time. You've got to find a way to get off the field. You're trailing late in the game. Give it back to your offense to go see if they can score. Here on third down for this offense. On the move, it's Monaga. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And the Scarlet Knights decide to punt it away. Looking for a block. It's Boston. And he loses the football on the return. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. And there's a coachable moment for that young man right there. It's a nice run. Your team's got the lead late. But because of that, you cannot go out of bounds before you get to two minutes. If you go out, the clock's going to stop, and that's a coachable moment, something he'll learn from moving forward. Power football with the run. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. 
This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. And the pummeling has started. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. The sure hands, it's Hunter. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead, it's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this, and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. You gotta throw first down. You gotta keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Looking to pass, it's Rodgers. Quick completion on the out. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And this QB has been on top of it. He's, he's made good reads, you could tell, taking care of the football, put up a lot of yards. He's over 350 on the day now. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. He wants to throw. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Catch in the middle, it's Boston. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Washington has a lot of things working, set up with another first down. They want to just keep throwing it. Grabbed over the middle, it's Hunter. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. And listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. Patting my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games, and we had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together run defense pass defense they've been so good man dialed in you could tell they were ready they were fast they were physical they dominated this football game today to throw it's rogers just a short pass to the tight end and boy is he close to that first down maybe just a couple of inches short and this game is obviously out of hand. Yeah, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. 
The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. They'll try to run for it. The Scarlet Knights get enough for the first down. 